many centers of worship, have turned to what Jesus once called the den of thieves. It is actually sad to see true men of God turning to money lovers and changing the house of God into a home of miracles in exchange for money and this simply means that the church is losing its values and essence. The Harari Church should at least stand out as an example and show the world that it has the potential to give the body of Christ its real value. It is not however easy to accomplish this mission without the church leader understanding their congregation in a better manner. Most people attending a place of worship actually have no time to listen to the modern gospel. They want the real thing, the real teachings of Christ they were to hear from the beginning of time. Just to remind you, the commission of Jesus stated clearly that the mission of sanctuary leaders was to preach the good news of the kingdom. Since the leaders are the disciples of today, they are to make Jesus known to people who have never heard of him since birth. They are to take the true gospel of Jesus to the far corners of the earth as they wait for the return of Christ. Most leaders forget that people are tired of empty promises which do not even reflect in a single word in the Bible. When you promise people through prophecy that they will have good cars, build huge buildings, and have a bright future, yet they are struggling to look for jobs, it leaves one wondering whether they are in a church or some foreign world. The true word of God is actually losing meaning every day. If church leaders can take time for a moment to think about what it really means to see some members of the congregation shift to other centers of worship, then they will identify a problem. However, the level to which the Sawyer Seed Gospel has grown may not allow most to take time to analyze what the problem actually is. In most cases, they ignore this. Churches should act as centers of motivation where people will learn and see Christ as their center of hope and ultimate blessings. When preachers talk about success in business, healing and prosperity in exchange for a prophetic offering, it leaves the weak congregation members who cannot offer money every day with questions. They go home sad, then they went to church. If leaders can motivate people, the body of Christ can grow big. It will expand in a huge manner. Motivation will lead to making a place of worship healthy and a center of refuse of all nation of the earth. In summary, Harari church leaders should know that people want to meet with Christ and get to know him better. They are always looking for ways through which they can become closer to Christ and understand the word of God in a deeper way. They should therefore guide people in the right way so that in the end, the body of Christ not only expands, but also grows strong.